Hey guys, I'm going to show you today how to make manips, um, you know, picture blending, two pictures together. So for now, um, we're going to show you the easy um, route uh, with pictures with a white background. Like I have a few of them um, that I picked out. See like these have the, the white background. To me those are the easiest way to get you started. So I already put them in my Photoshop, so I'm going to show you. That's not one of them. Hold on. All right. I know Diane is going to be a little bit too. What's the word? Yellow. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to leave it as is. So first, um, I just want to let you know that I use very large images just because it's easier in the long run for me. And of course, that one's too big. I think it was 700 I put it down for. Too big. Let's make it 300. And now she's a little bit. Okay, can never win. Okay, let's go. 325. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so let's put those together there. So yeah, so the white backgrounds are usually the easiest one because they're not busy with anything, and you know that's gonna be hard to distract it and so forth. So to me, this is the the one route you would like to start. But right now, uh, Diana is a little bit darker. Um, the light source is not the same, so I like to go to image adjustments hue saturation and there I like to decrease the saturation you see how she's a little bit not so yellowish then I go to the reds see how she has a lot of reds in her but I don't want to like decrease too much because then she's going to look too pale and then I go back and I go to adjustment bright and I light her up just a tiny bit. And I like to go back just one more time because she I noticed she was very still much yellow after light her up so much when I did the action. So let's see. Let's make them a little bit closer right there. Okay. There's many ways of how to do this. Um you can take this route where it's you know changing the on um, the layer face um, there's all the the ways that you could change the layer and then you go and hit background and then you put a new layer and then you can do it this way where all you have to do is erase the white part which let me just show you quickly I know some pictures I do this because it's too much stuff for me to erase otherwise so again this is just one way uh, there's no right and wrong way to do it it's whatever you feel comfortable and what looks the most natural so anyway so that's one way um, of course I'm just doing this lousy job because I'm not gonna do it that way but let me just erase that and make her that. Um, 
you can use the eraser to erase all that but I like to use this tool um, it's like a triangle, it's the third one down and it's magnetic because it it takes the most of it, sometimes it's a little bit too um, light around the edges so usually it's pretty smart on selecting it so I just go highlight over what I don't want on it and then I go around and I should have done it the other way because now yeah let me do it again See how it highlights what you don't want. You don't have to worry about Megan because she's not in part of this layer of picture. So then you just hit the delete button. See how it deleted that white stuff that she had around it. Then I hit this square button and you click on it and the box kind of you know that selection thing is away. So now we have them together, but her edges are kind of rough. So I like to go back and smooth them out. a lot of white stuff which to me is gonna bug me out it's not gonna look like it's overlapping Megan because Megan's hair is you know darker The reason I have Megan and Diana is because of my favorite aunt like. She was my aunt when I was nasty, but we'll deal with her for now because I love her. And I still don't like that arm. So now we just put them together a little bit closer and delete the other nonsense that we have. And now what I do is I go to layer, I find the image so they could be a little bit more, you know, on the one layer. And you don't have to do this, but this is what I do. Um, I go and do actions. This is my actions collection. And it makes it the picture a little bit, you know, more together to me. But Diana is still, again, a little bit more red, a little bit more yellow. So I go back and I change it a little bit. And there you have it. Um, the next ones I will show you the more advanced um, ways to make your manips. But again, you could play with it. Um, you know, it took me many, many times to make um, my comfort zone for manips. Whatever works for you. Uh, if any questions, um, concerns, just hit me up.